Kids are dreamers. Some want to be astronauts, some want to be policemen, others, doctors. A lot of kids want to work with robots. When someone gets to do just that, you'd think they keep up with it a bit. But even the world's leading robotic system designers sometimes find that the dreamers leave. Next on Elevate Iowa, we explore Aceta, a company that is the dream, to figure out how they worked with Iowa Western Community College to keep their talent long term. Welcome to the new Iowa. Elevated past old notions of manufacturing. Where manufacturing is exciting, clean, and a career worth talking about. The Iowa Advanced Manufacturing Grant paid for the state's 15 community colleges to focus on manufacturing in new and meaningful ways. And these are their stories. Aceta provides robotic solutions to manufacturing plants. They typically bring us a product like a, say like a bucket and they need to either weld that bucket or machine that bucket and we provide a robotic solution around to do that process for them. And we'll build it up here on our shop floor, we'll program it, test it, we'll tear it down and put it in their facility and it'll run for the next 20 years doing that process or until that part goes away. Robotic solutions. If it sounds like the ultimate in skilled tinkering and Lego play, you're right. It's just that epic. So why in the world would there be a labor gap? Aceta has their finger on the answer. Real challenge these days, as we all know, skilled labor force in America is a real problem. As the baby boomers continue to retire, finding good skilled talent is gonna be a challenge all companies have in this country. Manufacturing specifically, these are high paying jobs. Manufacturing typically is a dirty word, but with technology the way it's going, these solutions are gonna allow companies to do more here in the United States than they ever could before. They were facing a difficult problem in their environment, so they're one of the top FANUC, which is the yellow robots you see behind me here, integrators in the country. And uh, there was no local program for them to source their employees for robot programmers, and that's really one of their key positions that they've got in order to deliver on their projects. We had developed relationships with colleges that are more than two and 300 miles away. And we have had success bringing those students here right out of a two or four year degree school. The problem becomes after two or three years, these individuals want to get married, they want to have kids, they move back home. And that's still good that they're going to go do a job somewhere else, but Aceta is then stuck with, we have to replace that employee. So that was really a challenge for them. And so they, I think they believe, they started thinking, well, why would we maybe not try to grow our own students here? And that was the genesis of the involvement with Iowa Western Community College. And the curriculum that we developed was developed in conjunction with them to meet, to meet their needs. Aceta came to Iowa Western Community College and collaboratively sought a solution. That solution? Create a robotics degree program to build a local workforce capable of the Aceta standard. Funding from the Iowa Advanced Manufacturing Grant propelled their efforts. I'm working on our new Denzo robot. It's a uh, four axis robot that is a lot different from the other robots. It uh, is only able to pick objects up and put them down on a usually a conveyor type setting. Um, I, I really am a hands-on guy and that's an, uh, the other appeal of this compared to a regular like a mechanical engineer. Is a mechanical engineer you're gonna be at a desk all day designing stuff on CAD, but here you'll be actually physically programming the robots to operate to what you want them to do rather than making the robots for everyone else to use. So like any high-end technology, the equipment is very, very expensive and that's really a barrier to entry to get to be able to develop a quality program. So without the TAC grant to sort of provide the seed money to get the initial equipment, I think it would have been real tough. But one of the primary things that we've got is a number of the robot systems that we have in place on the floor. So the one over there, the weld system, these two uh, cert cells we call them, they're basically educational robots. They're robots designed for beginning robot uh, programmers, as well as that ABB robot and that universal robot. I was a pharmacy major before this, so it was kind of a big jump for me, you know. Uh, always liked computers, and this was kind of right up that alley within programming. It has a restricted movement, but uh, for different sorting purposes, you would uh, 
for sorting pills maybe based on color. You would have a vision system that shines down, takes a picture of the different pills, uh, and then sorts them into their respective categories. Most of the equipment you see in the room actually as a direct result of the grant. And uh, so we've been very thankful for that. It's given us an opportunity to give a quality environment for our students to work in. So we partnered with Iowa Western three years ago to first create a buzz for what is manufacturing and what is advanced technology gonna bring to this industry. We found then the ability to bring those engineers here and train them on our floor using equipment like you see behind me. Number one, they help us with our own workforce, but these students are gonna go out into the manufacturing world. And these solutions that we put in place are high technology and take a lot of know-how to use and maintain. Our customers need students from Iowa Western as well. This is our lab. We use this lab for the Iowa Western community degree. This is one of the five classes that are taught here at this facility. They're going through a maintenance and service class at the moment. So right now they are debugging a system that's been broken uh, using manuals and electrical schematics and then other tools to figure out what was broken during this class. So really in those first couple of years, 80% or so of the real robot-oriented training took place down at Aceta. Now, as we've got this facility and brought on more equipment here, we've started transitioning some of those classes back up to our facility here. But we still use them for, let's say, 30 to 40% of, of our classes. They're actually taught by Aceta instructors. And then in the other classes that we've got, we will have the time divided between our instructors and Aceta. I was the first person uh, in the program to go to the program and actually land a job at Aceta. I wanted to be an astronaut when I was a kid, so this isn't uh, necessarily uh, too far removed from sort of certain actually uh, applications in space and everything, so it's been kind of interesting to be able to work with technology and everything. Like they have the Canadian arm as an example of the application in space with robotics, so exciting to kind of experience some of that, some of that aspect. By helping to address a significant employment strain on Aceta through collaboration, Iowa Western has earned a long-term partner and provided students access to a career path that most people only dream about, a life working with robots. The future is here at Iowa Western.